What's up guys, Chris Fink, UVT, coming to you today with probably one of the most exciting videos of 2022. This video is about the Mavic 3 Enterprise series. We are super fortunate to have both the Mavic 3 Enterprise and the Mavic 3 Thermal with us pre-launch. Today is September 25th, 2022. Uh, I'm gonna just preface by saying that things could change between now and when the launch happens on the 27th, things like what comes with each kit, uh, final technical specifications, all that kind of stuff. To be honest with you, we don't have many tech specs about these things. I've got some basic information and then just things that I can infer just through the app and playing with them, et cetera, et cetera. So this video is going to be kind of just a, hopefully a relatively short comparison between the Mavic 3 Thermal, which is here, and the Mavic 3 Enterprise, which is here. So starting off, we'll talk about the Mavic 3 Enterprise. You might notice and recognize that payload right there. Very, very similar. Uh, truthfully, I have not done a comparison yet between this one and the, let's focus there, between this one and the consumer. Again, because the technical specifications and things are subject to change, I'm gonna be talking mostly about hardware. So you'll notice really no major changes to the actual frame. However, on the top, and this is the same on both the Mavic 3 Enterprise and the Mavic 3 Thermal, we now have a USB-C port on the top here and obviously your mounting brackets here, mounting points, I should say. You know, uh, pretty cool design, a little bit different, actually quite a bit different than the um, M2E series or M2EA. I like this better because you don't have that port cover over the whole thing that's gonna snap and break at some point. Um, so this is gonna be a bit more robust, easier to manage, fewer things to, uh, to lose. You're also gonna notice built into the top of the airframe, beacons on both. Right, what does that mean? Well, that means you're not gonna be stuck running potentially a spotlight or something on here and not have night flight uh, capabilities or you know regulatory requirements. You now have a beacon built in, so you can run the beacon and then whatever attachment you want to run, okay? Other than that, from the outside, like I said, no real changes, right? Pretty similar frame. Now with the, uh, well, let's go to the Mavic 3 Thermal think stay on topic here so mavic 3 thermal right here looks like a little baby there we go a little baby uh, m30t or or a, a you know real baby h20t right very similar we've got up here wide camera zoom visual and thermal no laser okay so if you need laser rangefinder that type of stuff you will want to go with either the m30 series or m300 uh, identical to the Mavic 3 Enterprise, port on top, beacon built in, the exact same sort of, um, I guess, processor workflow or series structure that they did with the Mavic 2 Enterprise. You've got same airframe across both, just different payloads. The payloads are not swappable. We haven't heard a word about that, so I wouldn't expect that to be the case. They are going to be relatively fixed to the payload. Now, Mavic 3 Enterprise series comes with a new remote called the RC Pro Enterprise. There it is. Not sure why my phone is having a hard time focusing. There we go. Uh, relatively similar to the RC Pro. Okay, does say Enterprise up here, obviously. Um, I'll be doing a deep dive, uh, at least internally, to kind of dig in and see what the main differences are. This does feel like a beefier, a bit of a beefier remote. I'm gonna assume that it might have a bigger battery in it. Don't know, like I said. No technical specifications just yet, um, but it does come with the RC Pro. So, and this is probably gonna be, yeah, I would probably guess this is gonna be what might change the most. But when I received these kits, and you'll also notice one says demo and one doesn't. So I don't know if that means anything, but they both arrived in the same kit. So what you get, what I got at least, when I took delivery of these as a dealer, we got the RC Pro Enterprise, goes in here. We got the airframe, which goes in here, obviously. Um, the airframe did ship with a battery in it. Now I am told that that may not be the case for retail packaged units. I don't know. I assume you'll get one battery like you do on the M2E and M2EA. I just, I just don't know. So ours did have one. You're going to get a relatively newly designed USB-C power adapter right here. Focus for me, please. So you have two USB-C outputs and then power there that goes in there you get a USB-C to USB-C cable 
and then a USB-C to USB-A. So those all come with it. Um, now you'll notice, unlike the M2E and M2EAs, whatever, no accessories, no attachments. But this looks to me like a speaker, okay? Now I do have some speakers on order, so spoiler alert, there will be a speaker from DJI available for this, and there will be an RTK uh, module. RTK unit, that's going to go in here. Those are additional. No attachments, at least, again, as of today, in my kits, no attachments come with it. You do obviously have the port, you have the port cover. It's capable of it, but there's just nothing included. And then you get a bunch of propellers, kind of your typical typical propeller setup there. Uh, let's see, big changes. I mean, this is kind of a dumb thing, but gimbal cover. It's no longer 50 Shades of Grey, jock strap whatever you want to call that, uh, Consumer Mavic 3. So this actually snaps on very easily. It goes like that. It goes on the front of the aircraft. Bingo, bango, blam, all set. Um, now, one big question we've gotten. Do we need to buy different batteries than our current Mavic 3? I am happy to say, no, you do not. Same Mavic 3 battery. This is actually a Consumer Mavic 3 battery that I pulled out of our stock room, and it works just fine. So... That's awesome. If you guys have Consumer Mavics already, Consumer Mavic 3s, I should say, you're good to go with that same battery. So that is awesome. Um, yeah, guys, that's basically it. Like I said, we're going to dig in a whole lot more into technical specifications and things uh, here very soon. But we've got the Mavic 3 Enterprise, mechanical shutter on your zoom camera, wide RGB, no thermal, RGB only imaging. This is going to be your mapping powerhouse. And then you've got the Mavic 3 Thermal, also part of the Enterprise series, but it's called the Mavic 3 Thermal, the M3T, the Mavic 3T, whatever. 640 by 512 Thermal, Zoom RGB, and Wide RGB all in one unit. So M2EA replacement. This is probably going to be like M2E Zoom, maybe P4 RTK replacement. We'll just have to see how that goes. So... That's it, guys. Mavic 3 Enterprise Series right here. Exclusive first look. Not that exclusive, but a first look. I will do some more deep dives into each of these separately. Thanks for coming by, and we'll catch you in the next one. See ya.